What's good, Pisces? This is Soul. And Pisces, we're going to look at your week ahead starting July 10th, ending July 16th, 2023. Um, I hope all is well. I hope you guys had a fantastic 4th of July. This week, I'm using the Tattoo Tarot. Not reading reversals here. And uh, this deck here, uh, since I don't use it that often, it has double energy. So, so far, we come across two... Three of Cups, two Star Cards, and I think there's so yeah, two Higher Fonts and two Nines of Wands so far. So I'm not even going to bother to cut. We're just going to concentrate on energies for you this week, Pisces, and start throwing the cards here. So what are the energies here, Spirit, that Pisces can look forward to this week? Pisces energies, please. I'm about to get a serious thunderstorm here. God, it got really dark, and I can hear the... Thunder cracking. Well, they're calling for an aerial flood. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> so, um, who was it? Capricorn and I think uh, another sign received the tower. And I talked about hurricane season and inclement weather. So this might be part of what's going on with the tower's energy flooding they're calling for flooding too all right here we go pisces me rambling so you got the three of cups one of the three of cups here so this is about birthday celebrations anniversaries just having a grand time possibly hanging out with some friends family members could be romantic partners could be co-workers after work for happy hours but there is a need to be happy joyous and celebratory about this week for you pisces up next now we have the eight of swords excuse me so instantly, I'm looking at the woman who is blindfolded and she got rope around her. You feeling like you're blindfolded and trapped. You are not. I always talk about the Eight of Swords here. You have to make sure that if this uh, energy does express itself, that you are actually dealing with something that's making you nervous, anxious, and not sleeping properly. You know, worried about something. Uh, I usually get a break in communication, and that could be with family members, romantic partners, and friends. And then so you uh, constitute this fear uh, if it is real, I ask you to work on it and try to rid yourself of any, you know, decrease that anxiety and that worry as much as you possibly can. Because if you let it linger, it increases to the nine of swords, which is much worse. So make sure that if it is real, you work with it and try to decrease it. Like I said before, if it is not, then you're, you're, you're you know, playing mind games with yourself. You're building up some sort of energy about anticipation, anticipate. Okay, <laughs> anticipatory things that haven't occurred yet. Did you hear that freaking crack of thunder? Oh my gosh. So make sure that, you know, it is real, deal with it. If it's not, then don't try to put an end result to something that hasn't happened yet. Oh my gosh. I think I better get through this reading before I lose power. Anyway, um, you have the hermit. So there could be some introspection going on for some of you guys. Meditation, it could be um, just spending some time alone. Just need a break. You're not going to stay in this phase too long. It just You need to spend some time alone. For some, it could be just you need space, okay, just to think things through. If it comes to introspection, then it might be, you know, involving anything related to the Eight of Swords. Um, it could be just you, you know, wanting to take time to uh, be alone, to read a book, catch up on uh, some quiet time and peace and rejuvenation could be listening to meditation music or whatnot or soothing music. Um, but usually if you're going within, you're going to come out with a clearer perspective. All right. Following the hermit card here. Now we have the um, three. See, this is the other three of cups. There you go. Double the energy. So you have both three of cups here and um Three of Cups is the same energy that I had said about the first Three of Cups that showed up here for your spread. So I'm going to save myself some breath. But just note that it's more impactful because it's twice the energy. Following the Three of Cups now, here we have the um, Queen of Cups. Okay, so more of your energy is showing up. This is emotional happiness, satisfaction, contentment because of the connections that you have, your family, romantic partners. Uh, it could be your friends. Feeling good. Feeling really good emotionally this week, um, Pisces, and I'm happy for you guys. Uh, it also could, you know, institute uh, new relationships being formed, um, you know, platonic and romantic. Definitely 
pay attention to your intuition, you know, trust the process and what you receive in terms of, um, you know, gut feelings and hearing voices, always pay attention to that. If it feels real, it is real. If it's not, then it's not meant to be. So, you know, you have to pay attention to that and release and let it go. Uh, all queens and kings represent relationships for me. All right. So that is very good. Next, we have the seven of swords. Now, you're the third sign that's received the uh, seven of swords. And it's these people, I always see coming back from your past that you had a connection with family members, friends, exes. Well, they could be trying to contact you this week and, you know, because they hold the, you know, the swords uh, with them and she's holding that one like she's ready to strike. They just bring more challenges, Pisces. OK, they offer nothing new. So just be, you know, very mindful. Pay attention to your intuition to know the difference as to why somebody that you haven't talked to or became estranged with all of a sudden shows up and then wants to communicate. Uh, they haven't worked on their own issues. If it is not any of that stuff that I just mentioned here uh, for you, Pisces, then again, whatever it is that you put down, thought you had lost, and um, that energy resurfaces for you, okay? It comes back up. Following the Seven of Swords, now you have the Queen of Swords. So this is about action. This is about major moves. And I've been stating that the Queen of Swords in this particular deck is facing the past direction like the Knight of Swords and other decks that I have used. So there's something that you're going to do majorly that relates to recent days or, you know, could be recent weeks that you need to take care of. Maybe it was something that you were working on at the time and then didn't have enough time to, you know, complete it. But you're going to follow through with whatever that energy that relates to the past this week. This is a card of communication. This is gaining clarity, um, gaining facts and information so that you're clear in terms of your decisions and your actions moving forward. All right. Following that, we have the um, Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory and success. Traveling. If you are traveling, say passage to, say passage from. It's a driving force of positive energy that either is moving towards you, Pisces, or you're moving towards it. Okay. Following the Six of Wands, now we have the Ace of Cups. Someone goes deeper in terms of their feelings for you. You could be doing that to them. This Ace of Cups also represents pregnancy news, childbirth. It could be a job offer. New relationships, again, be informed. Excuse me, platonic and romantic. Last card that I have for you, Pisces, is the, um, what is this? I don't know why these cards are in reverse. Oh, now you have the Eight of Wands. All right, so this is a card of communication, effective communication, since underneath your own energy. So you can have... An expectation this week that at least through communications with other people, family members, friends, romantic partner, that you should have um, decent communication. This is an even number of wands, so the energy that you express this week is what you're going to get back in return. There also is an aspect of you receiving some sort of good news. Uh, it cross mirrors over here to the Three of Cups here, so it could be why you're celebrating or happy about something or joyous, because that great news or the good news could come through the mail it could come from a phone call definitely come from a text because i always get a lot of texting with the eight of wands and again like the six of wands if you are traveling say passes to say passes from whether it's vacationing or work related matters business matters in your shadow we have the nine of pentacles so this is the card that is always a reward for yourself because you worked hard on something pisces now that could be your actual work and the um, payoff is, you know, maybe a bonus, maybe substantial pay raise. It could be additional benefits. Um, if it's outside of work, it could be that you, you know, worked hard on something else. It could be a personal project. It could be trying to keep a relationship together, uh, your family together, whatever it is that you worked hard for. You can see the grapes here. That's always um the, you know, working hard for the fruits of your hard labor, right? And getting getting that uh, energy coming towards you. Now, oftentimes, um, pick up, you know, large purchases with the Nine of Pentacles. So that could be that you draw some money out from a savings, a 401k, retirement, and buy something and splurge on yourself. And if that is the case for some of you, you're not to feel guilty about it, all right? The Nine of Pentacles also could be for others, multiple options that may open up to you in any other area of your life. And I did mention it could be bonus money, pay raises. This is a card of financial independence. Either you are striving to be financially independent or you already are. 
Next up is the, um, ooh, now you got the lovers. Okay, Pisces, you rocking this week. Now you got the lovers. The lovers is here, and we already know about the lovers. It's about unity, right? It's about unity, coming together, peace, harmony, seeing eye to eye, being on the same page with one another. This could be business formation. This could be platonic formation, romantic, definitely, uh, formations. It's all about having that equality of energy that you put out to others and what you get back in return. So you can expect your week to be, when it comes to these relationships and their dealings with other people, pretty smooth here, okay? Last card I have for you, Pisces, uh, is the Emperor. So you finish off with the Major Arcana, the Emperor, and I think there's two Emperors in this deck. So um, you're in control this week, right? You're in control. And I always say this is um, a possibility of someone being thrown into a position of authority. It mirrors over here to the Nine of Pentacles. So that would be, you know, promotions. The character here always represents a father figure for me who is no longer here but in spirit. And just coming through to acknowledge they may have worked in law enforcement or, you know, serve some sort of time in the military. But the most important thing here is you having to be in control of your own actions this week. Now, if I chose to read uh, reversals, I always talk about if the four, I'm sorry, not the four, it is a four, but if the emperor was in reverse, then that's about you losing control and manipulating. And so it's not about that for you this week. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. And it's one of um, the best readings that I have given you so far. Um, just take what uh, works for you and leave the rest alone. And you guys have a safe, great week ahead. Keep smiling for me. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And I'll talk to you soon.